all right what's up guys welcome back to an all new exciting episode with your boy salam O. and today i'm going to be walking you through my retouching process on this image by typogram using the all new master retouch retouching panel okay so quickly let's have a dive into the retouch of this image i'm just going to do a very simple retouch on this and explain as i go so i'm going to click on the two uh two layer frequency separation gaussian blur and uh, sample a portion of the image and you can notice that the image is in eight bits yeah we could get to you know edits on that that's fine by this image we don't have so much to do so much touch up to do so yeah uh, on this portion uh increase the radius and i think somewhere around here is actually good we don't really have so much of skin details so yeah so somewhere around 2.2 pixels actually works fine yeah and just let it let it do its thing it's done you notice that i have all your layers already you know prepared you know you could to boost some texture you know just uh sorry just a moment yeah so you play around with <laughs> you play around with the blending modes okay and also the opacity you know just to get some some extra pop on your image all right just to get some some extra pop right there yeah, i think soft light works pretty nice okay so let's dive into we could deactivate that just for now I, I think it looks pretty nice but let's have that deactivated for now okay so uh if you would want to begin your retouch usually you'd work on your low pass that's the low frequencies that's the volume retouch so you could literally just select from here you know select just that and you, once you select that it's going to highlight only that you know only the low pass layer and deactivate every other layer and if you notice uh, the image looks quite blurry because this is the low end okay and you could select your high pass or you could hold down on shift and click on your low pass to reactivate all the other layers okay so let's select that layer and we would need to make sure that the mixer brush tool is selected uh, if it's not selected you could just select from here and do well to copy out you can you know just work with my settings over here and uh, yeah begin to retouch now one thing i like to do is if i feel it's too harsh i would actually come over here and uh, drop down the flow just a little bit so let's say somewhere around uh, 10 or 9 depending and change the brush size adjust the image and i like to use the mixer brush tool in circles yeah just to create those very nice fall-offs now if you notice the image already has you know a very nice skin so it does not require so much yeah so a quick rule of thumb while retouching your image would actually be to go in the direction of the the, the face the skin okay so i would go in these directions and just have that now you could deactivate to just see your progress over time yeah so i think that's that's coming up pretty nice and uh for the other areas i would go like at the dark circles or beneath the eyes it would just go in you know 
those same areas and over here get some circles yeah i think this this is coming up pretty nice already i'm loving the outcome all right yeah let's let's keep going All right, so uh, you can notice that this is this is the before and this is the after. We've actually come a very long way. You notice that at, at these areas, I went a little too harsh, but that is fine because I would normally drop the opacity and you know just find the sweet spot over there, sweet spot. And uh, I think somewhere around maybe seventy. Let's see yeah yeah that, that this this works this works pretty fine for me yeah and uh also you could <clears throat> you know just uh work on the high layers if you'd notice uh, there's there's a little bit of some there's a little bit of some you know blemishes over here so i could just come over here and then select the clone stamp tool sample and work on the highs yeah that does it you know, just you know work on the textures just get some texture coming up yeah that that does it that does it I need you to understand that uh, this image already was, you know, kind of already compressed, but we still get to work with it that way. Now, uh, next thing would be to head over to the dodge and burn, the dodge and burn tab. And a uh, rule of thumb for me usually would be to use the soft life, soft light, sorry. Now, the thing is, this is not necessary. But I like to do this in my process just to, you know, uh, have a bit of a separation. So I create two of the layers, one of the soft light and one of the overlay dodge and burn. And I group them and control G and I name that uh, dodge and burn. Okay, now doing that, uh, I use the top layer. I usually use the overlay to burn and the soft light to dodge okay so i could just you know have okay now we have that uh, soft lights activated i would go to the dodge and dodge the areas that require dodging now if you notice this is a soft light and it's kind of you know at that 45 degree level so it just accentuates those areas the lighting is actually nice and soft Now, when you're dodging, be sure to confirm that uh, you have your highlights selected on the range and exposure a very low percentage, you know, just to keep that really subtle. And uh, let's hold, head over to the burn, select the burn, and uh, I would reduce, once you reduce that, make sure that shadows is selected and exposure pretty low and burn the areas that require burning okay that's coming up really nice no just something and 
then this areas as well just a little bit of the detergent and let's see how that looks I, I i mean i don't know about you but uh just i'd like to drop the opacity of these a little bit but this 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 really looks so nice already like this gives a whole lot of three dynam dimensional feel to the image already and you know just subtle changes here and there making really really big changes to uh the photograph yeah so i'd still like to drop the opacity just a little bit just a tiny bit and yeah I'm, I'm really having fun i'm really having fun like this this is coming up really nice you can see over here uh, we've we've actually we've actually come a really really long way uh this is this is the before and this is the after now a few more things i'd like to i'd like to correct on this image with you know just you know work on let's let's get to whiten the, the teeth yeah let's work whiten the teeth a little bit and uh zoom in for that and I would need to drop draw up uh, my opacity just a little bit. Let's get some pop. Some whitening. But that's, that doesn't really brighten the teeth. It just whitens it. So yeah, I think that that's fine. And uh next thing i would be doing would be to you know use the eyes tool I'll click on that and get some sharpening over there I just drop the radius a little bit and yeah somewhere around there i think i think this i think this works really nice and you let it do its thing it creates a bunch of layers for you now, usually I don't get to use a whole lot of this unless necessary, but on the basis, I would, you know, just head over to Bright Eyeball, zoom in, and get that done. Right, iris. Oops, sorry. And I just accentuate the portions that require. You could also drop your flow. I like to drop my flow and do that. You know, just to enhance, just to enhance the image. Okay to make those eyes pop yeah that looks that looks really really nice yeah it could give some iris boost you know just give some little enhancements to the eyes yeah that's basically what this does sharpen those portions You can get to actually dodge and burn the eyes as well. That uh, that goes a very long way. And I could actually get to do this: the whitening teeth, uh, whitening teeth uh, layer. I could actually use that to. We could actually use that to whiten the eyeballs just a little bit. It actually works so it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be um, the teeth yeah this this has come up really really nice yeah that makes the eyes pop like so much so 
just drop the opacity just a little bit to keep it as natural as possible and yeah we're really coming up so nice like we've come a long way on this image now we could actually you know add some uh, the texture back texture boost and come on like we have come a really really long way and yeah that works for it and uh for this particular image it's already been color graded to an extent yeah so we don't necessarily need to balance out the skin tones because we don't have so much of the skin coming out you know so you can let that slide and color presets we don't get to use any of that we already have a little bit of vignette on this image so yeah that's that's that you know just let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below and in the next and coming episodes i am going to be showing you guys more about the master retouch panel how to use it and you know quick tips and hacks do keep your post notifications on okay keep your post notifications on so you could be notified when next i would be posting videos for you guys and until then ciao ciao